54 year old smoker present to your clinic with shortness of breath and cough he has no relevant occupational exposure but he is a smoker so first thing i told you what you have to see i mean even though step wise you see fm to fpc first but first what you will see fpc first that's that's what, i mean did i tell you that fe1 okay fe1 okay first always see fe1 easy if you see fe1 see the percentage predicted 25 percentage it's less than 80 percentage or more than 80 percentage less than 80 percentage which means you suspect ventilator defect or there is no ventilator defect you suspect some ventilator defect must be obstructive or restrictive some ventilator defect is there we have to evaluate so now go to the step wise protocol step wise protocol is f1 by fc step number 1 that's a different index different index alone you see average actual so different index is reduced or different index is normal here see only for different index the cut off is 70 percentage for, for everything else it's 80 percentage you understood their concept no only for different index it is 70 percentage for everything else it is 80 percentage so different index is low this is suggestive of obstruction or restriction this suggestive of an obstructive lung disease right this suggestive of obstructive lung disease so if you you go to the left side of the table okay if it's an obstructive lung disease next step is to look at what next is fec go the algorithm next step is to see i told you step 2 is always fec post vital capacity fec predicted percentage predicted 41 percentage it's reduced so what do you suspect here what do you suspect that's what is important fec is reduced means what you are suspecting suspecting whenever fec is low you suggest rest i mean you it is suggestive of restriction to confirm restriction what you will do as a next step next step is to do tlc okay to confirm that it's a restriction so look at the tlc more than 80% or less than 80% percentage? more than 80% percentage. so this is what this patient is having a pseudo restriction pseudo restriction must be due to what severe obstruction right generally it is due to emphysema but we have to find out pseudo restriction might be due to a severe obstruction so i told you pseudo restriction is generally due to what generally due to what why the fec is reducing severe atrophy right that is because of severe increase in the res residual volume have a look at this what are the residual volume here hence proof that this patient is having a severe obstruction causing pseudo restriction and that is due to extremely severe atrophy residual volume here is 248 percentage that confirms the fec decline here is due to this point that's due to pseudo restriction and can you find out what is obstructive lung disease you know pseudo restriction is due to severe obstructive lung disease can you find out what is obstructive obstructive lung disease here what is obstructive lung disease exactly pulkit has said correctly i told you the only obstructive lung disease that you need to know for exam with a low dlco is what only obstructive lung disease low dlco is what emphysema so look at the dlco it is less than 80 percentage so now i can confirm that this severe obstruction must be due to what correct now look at the fe1 improvement fe1 improves by 112 percentage after giving bronchodilator so this is a good bronchodilator response or poor bronchodilator response yes this patient is having a good bronchodilator response that's all so this is the complete wholesome diagnosis of this pft pseudo restriction due to severe obstruction the obstructive lung disease is emphysema and that this patient is having it but this in fact excellent bronchodilator responsiveness and the problem with the students is in exam if you get something like this what they will do is they will i'll tell you what mistake you will do you will see fe1 and you will see percentage change immediately what you will do you would have mugged up what you would have just mugged up that when fe1 increased by more than 12 percentage it is what bronchial asthma and your diagnosis gone you are totally wrong and this this kind of questions only you will get in exam especially inicet loves this kind of questions you go you see the previous year papers this is actually my own patient this is my own patient actually but in exam in inicet there are two three questions like this exactly like what i have said Thank you.